Good day viewers. In this video, we want to be solving for A and B where we have A plus B equals 12 and AB equals 22. To get the value of A and B in this problem, so here we consider the first one as equation 1 and the second one as equation 2. Then we say from the equation 1, which is A plus B equals 12 then from here we make a the subject of the formula so that we have 12 minus b then we call this one equation 3 then we substitute equation 3 into equation 2 and uh, we have b into bracket of 12 minus b everything equals 22 and next we have let's say i rearrange this so that we have b into bracket of minus b plus 12 equals 22 and next we have let's try to expand this so when we multiply b by b we have it as minus b square then b multiplied by 12 we have it as plus 12 b everything equals 22 and here is negative so we don't want to get rid of negative here so what we are going to do is we multiply both sides by negative so that we have when negative multiply this it becomes b square and this one becomes minus 12 p equals so minus we multiply this and we have it as minus 22 so next we are going to continue by let's say we divide this one by 2 and uh, we raise it by 2 then add it to both sides so and the result of dividing this one by 2 is 6 then we have b square minus 12 b plus 6 square equals minus 22 plus 6 square so here we take b and then we take 6 with negative and we have b minus 6 raised to power 2 equals minus 22 plus so c square gives us 36 and next we have b minus 6 raised to the power of 2 equals minus 22 plus 36 it gives us 12 and then we have so let's say we take this one out of this so i think something around 14 so here we have b minus 6 to the power of 2 equals 14 then we take the square root of both sides so that we have b minus 6 to the power of 2 then we have the square root of it equals plus or minus the square root of 14 so when we take the square root of uh, the other side here we introduce plus or minus to show that we are getting two answers so when this cancelled we have b minus 6 equals plus or minus the square root of 14 then we take 6 to the other side and we have b equals 6 plus or minus the square root of 14 so here is what we have for the value of b and since we have it as plus or minus so to get the value of a as well we consider from equation 3 so we recall from equation 3 which is a equals 12 minus b so by substituting the value of b we have a equals 12 minus open bracket 6 plus or minus square root of 14. 
So we have to follow the rules of multiplying this negative with what is in the parentheses as we have this as 12. So minus we multiply this plus, we have it as minus 6. Then minus multiply by plus, that is minus. And minus multiply by minus, that gives us plus. Then here is root 14. And next we have a equals this minus this, that is 12 minus 6, that is 6 minus plus root 14. And here is the value of a. So if b is 6 plus root 14, then a will be 6 minus root 14. And if b is 6 minus root 14, a will be 6 plus root 14. So which means all the solutions are real. There is no complex solution to this problem. So I hope you learned something today. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you gain something today, please do to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. See you in the next video. Never stop learning. Bye-bye.